Yes, I will go ahead and tell you um, some jokes I learned this weekend. How do you get an octopus to laugh? How do you get an octopus to laugh? With tentacles. <laughs> we will go ahead and move forward and um, it's just going to be that kind of morning. Hey, it's Monday. <laughs> we'll just go with it, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Great. Okay, you can see me. You can hear me. We're go. Okay, let's try one more joke. Um, when do monkeys fall from the sky? When do monkeys fall from the sky? During April showers. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Let's start the day with a song. It's Monday. Let's start with our Days of the Week song. You ready? Okay. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, today is Monday. It's shaping up to be a fine Monday morning already. <laughs> well, let's see, let's do some yoga. Let's work out some of that early morning stress that I was having. Let's, uh, let's do a mountain. Okay, let's bring up our peaks. Oh, stretch up to the mountain. Let's say, go back up to mountain and say good morning to the sun. Good morning, sun. Good morning. Say good morning to our toes. Good morning, toes. Let's come back together. Don't forget to breathe. Let's become trees. Can you make a triangle? Oof, I'm having trouble this morning. <laughs> you make a triangle with your leg and bring your hands together. And put out your branches. Let's see your beautiful leaves on your tree. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's gather some flowers. And let's grab a bubble wand and let's smell our flowers and blow the bubble. Smell the flowers and blow the bubbles. One last time, let's smell the flowers and blow the bubbles. It's always a good activity when you're feeling a little nervous are a little stressed out. <laughs> well, let's do our letter today. My description disappeared because of technical difficulties, but Earth Day is this week, so I thought today we would celebrate our friend Earth. And so we, our letter today is going to be, you see that? Let's say it together on three. One, two, three, E. What words? Start with an E. Let's see. I think I've got some in my pocket here. Oh, I have another E. There's two E's. Oh, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have an envelope, a little tiny little envelope. An I, I. What else? What's that? Who's that? That's a cute little elephant. And anything else in here? An egg. Yummy. Did anybody have eggs for breakfast? Okay. You know what else begins with E? Our favorite planet, the Earth. Let's read a story about our friend Earth. 
This book is called My Friend Earth, and it is written by Ms. Patricia McLaughlin and illustrated by Francesca Sana. And thank you very much to Chronicle Books for allowing us to read both of our books today. My Friend Earth. There's Earth. Ooh, it looks like it's winter. And she's asleep. My friend Earth wakes up from her winter nap. No, oh, she's awake. And there's a little bird. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tapping in the garden, the cause of the crows, the silent seed, the spider spinning her silver web, and the robin and the wrens. and the large and long-winged albatross crossing the sea. There's the albatross, it looks like she's riding on top. The mole tunneling in the underdark, and she guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. And the zebra baby to find its mother in hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where the sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. And the tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mitted feet. She guards all the creatures in all the oceans the black manta rays, sleek like shadows, the shining parrotfish, and the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big, and the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill the streams, flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers and to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain and flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns until she stills the wind. So red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in the soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling in to an empty nest of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching, waiting to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. They're so beautiful leaves. That was My Friend Earth, written by Patricia McLaughlin and illustrated by Fran Francesca Sana. And again, thank you to Chronicle Book Books for allowing us to read that. What can we do for our friend Earth? She does a nice job of giving us a home. What are some things that we could do to help her out? Let's see. We remember to turn off the water when we're brushing our teeth, right? We don't want to waste water pretty valuable to us. What else can we do? Hmm. We have to take care of our bees, right? The bees help make our food. That's pretty important. And keep our earth looking beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to show you a real quick activity you can do to help your bees. This is a bee bath. All you need is a tray 
and some rocks and some water. So I just took a tray, a terracotta tray, but a glass bowl would work, any kind of shallow dish, preferably a natural material like glass or stone. And you fill it up with rocks and you put some water in it. And you put it in a shady spot of your garden, or if you don't have a garden, just a spot outside of your house, maybe near where some flowers are or a tree is. I put this out on my balcony near my avocado tree in the shade. And when I fill it with water, it lets the little birds come and land, oh, the birds, the bees come and land safely and get a little drink. So you want to put rocks in it so they have a spot to land and then to stop and get a drink. And you could do this at home. You could put a little decoration in it if you want. I put a little snail that I made on our 3D printer. And you can make a bee bath and help out your bee friends. Okay, I have two songs about the rainbow and I want to know which one you like best. So we'll sing them both and then we can see which one we like best and maybe we'll sing it again another time, okay? Let's see. They're pretty new to me, so I'll try to get them right. <laughs> All right. This is the first one called The Rainbow Song. And sing it. First comes red and orange to shiny yellow, green and blue. Purple ends the pretty rays only seen on rainy days. First comes red and orange to shiny yellow, green, and blue. This is rainbow song number one. This is also called the rainbow song. For clarity, we're going to call it rainbow song number two. <laughs> uh, okay. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet too. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue indigo and violet too. And that just teaches you the order of the colors in the rainbow. So if you have a preference, let me know. Maybe we'll do that one again sometime. Okay, let's read one last book. It's a short one. It's called We're Going to the Farmer's Market, also from our friends at Chronicle Books. And by Stefan Page is the author and illustrator. To market, to market, we are on our way. So many groceries to find on this warm, sunny day. To farmer, to farmer, we visit them all. There's a little bee. <laughs> Turn the page. For eggs, milk, and cheese. Fruits and veggies, big and small. You know what some of these veggies are? That one. That's kale, leeks, you should all know this one, strawberries, yum. Home again, home again with baskets full. Take a look. We unpack and unload and get ready to cook. Ooh, that looks delicious. To kitchen, to kitchen, we chop, stew, and bake. Our feast is almost ready. Daddy ices the cake. To table, to table, it's time to dig in. It's been such a great day. Let's go to the market again. As we're going to the farmer's market by Stefan Page and we can help out our earth by supporting our local small farmers and our farmers markets are still open right now so if you're able to support them that's a good place to get your fruits and veggies and other things okay friends let's tickle the stars tickle our toes turn around And around and tickle your nose. Reach down low and reach up high. Story time is over. Let's wave. Bye bye.
Bye, friends.